Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jeffrey White. Thanks for having me uh, provide the entertainment for you today. I wish I could be there uh, in person. I'm uh, over in Washuga, Washington, a um, couple of towns to the east of you. I live over here and been running a music school for about five years. So this is my studio that I'm in. And uh, I've also been a performer in the Pacific Northwest for about 30 years now, as well as being a band leader in uh, various styles of music, uh, jazz, bluegrass, um, various rock and roll bands. So I'll be playing a variety of styles for you for the next over the next hour on guitar and uh, piano and uh, yeah hope you enjoy hope you enjoy the music I like to do uh, delve into some film soundtrack numbers the uh, light-hearted ones especially so see if you can guess what uh, film this came out of I'll reveal it at the end here some fancy hands maybe try a few the bare necessities of life will come to you look for those bare necessities those simple bare necessities Don't worry about your trouble and your strife I mean the bare necessities that's why a bear can rest at ease with just the bare necessities of life so just try to relax in my backyard. You act like that bee acts. You're working too hard. Don't spend your time searching around for something you want that can't be found. You find out you can live without it and go on not thinking about it. I'll tell you something true. from the Jungle Book, uh, both Jungle Books, and the new Jungle Book, a very different movie, but both excellent movies, um, sung by the bear, of course. So I'm going to be doing short versions of songs today so we can pack more in, get some variety, because uh, I like a lot of different styles and, and uh, many songs, so let's get right right to it. Let's get into the more uh, folksy yeehaw type number. This is a peppy old bluegrass number. How Mountain Girls Can Love. Trail of that old lonesome pine. 
what I like to call a barn burner. Well, let's switch it up. Uh, we'll stick with the country-ish theme. We'll definitely get Western. We'll get more to the Western. Western Choral, C H O R A L E, right? And play a little piano um, for this one. I like to do it on both instruments, but let's get some piano in. This one uh, has turned into a jazz standard. I like to give it more of the Western flavor. I'm an old cow hand. <laughs> train going by and I think I think we should uh, adjust the song list accordingly here I got a couple of train songs I live about a block or two blocks away from the train tracks here in Washougal and the name of my uh, bluegrass band is called Train River which uh, I named it while I was living in Portland now that I live in Washougal, it's perfect. I'm right between the train tracks and the Columbia River. So, train river. So let's do a train song, or two maybe. <laughs> Are. 
This is a song I learned from um, late great Tony Rice, one of the most astounding um, bluegrass guitarists of all time, really. He's a, a guitarist's guitarist, especially in the bluegrass world. Some sound is, uh, I think, um, Bill Monroe put it on a bluegrass song, a little wistful. Um, all right, let's change it up here. Um, I think we're gonna take it down to the uh, Latin side of things. Now, this is a uh, kind of a jazz standard, it became popularized by Nat King Cole. Well, many people have covered it. The song's called uh, Nature Boy. And the story is uh, the person who wrote it, the uh, author of this piece, was a man named Eden Abes, who was kind of a uh, uh, hermit, not a hermit, but a uh, traveling, uh, a kind of gypsy traveler person, who as legend had it, uh, camped out up by the Hollywood sign in Hollywood. He's a songwriter and he was able to get his songs to the management of uh, Nat King Cole, who uh, liked the song and then covered it and so made him famous. So I don't know if this is kind of a uh, self portrait of uh, uh, Nature Boy, uh, but um, I'm going to do a little bit of a different take on it. Uh, I like to do more of a peppy almost flamenco style version. Many versions are kind of slow, bossa nova type style, but I think it lends up well to uh, uh, flamenco-ish.
take on the jazz standard, uh, Nature Boy. So I must say I've been listening to a lot more uh, uh, Latin music, especially from the mid 20th century uh, um, artists such as uh, Esquivel and uh, Xavier uh, Cugat. Um, I was, have become some of my favorite artists. It could be because uh, I'm about ready to make a major uh, life change uh, move. I'm about to move to Mexico um, permanently in just a couple of weeks here. So, uh, so I'm looking forward to, I'm hoping to start playing more music like that, like I just played, but more in a kind of an ensemble setting. So we'll see who I can hook up with down there. But looking forward to learning about I like to say with uh, as a I like to say to my music students that um, if you get into music you will never ever be bored because uh, there's always more to learn and as you go back in time and um, go around the world exploring the different um, genres of music and different instruments and all the wonderful artists uh, from over the decades and centuries, um, there's just just endless, and and these days you have we have access to all those recordings um, via the via the internet. So very cool. Um, all right, let's get back to the music. Uh, let's see. Here's what here's a crowd pleaser that I like to do with my uh, swing band. I do kind of a Django Reinhardt inspire, inspired uh, vintage swing band. This one's uh, is admittedly a song from the 50s, I believe. But we like to give it the, uh, uh, the swing band treatment. So if this song needs no introduction, you'll, you'll recognize it. Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. Make her the cutest that I've ever seen. Give her two lips like roses and clover. Then tell her that her lonesome nights are over. Sandman, I'm so alone. Don't have nobody to call my own. Please turn on your magic beam. good song. If, uh, I suppose it's a little bit sad if you listen to the words of it, but it's, uh, I can't help but put a smile on your face anyway. All right, well, let's, uh, I'm going to get back to a, a, another film, film soundtrack challenge. See if you can recognize what film this one came out of. It's one of my favorite movies.
know short and sweet. So that of course um, comes from uh, Willy Wonka and or Charlie and the Chocolate Factory also known as Willy Wonka. The book and the film have different uh, the two films have different titles. So that's the scene in the movie when they're uh, going through the chocolate factory and they finally open the doors into the big room where everything is is edible and made of candy and chocolate and all the kids go running around eating everything and the and Willy Wonka sings that song uh. all right moving right along uh, let's get another uh, couple of sing-alongs in here so these days there's a lot of a lot of bands out there a lot of my colleagues are um, itching to get back on stage and uh, just waiting for the live music scene to be allowed to resume. It uh, so we got a little ways to go yet, but um, um, so we're itching to get out, out on the road again. So, so we'll, I dedicate uh, this next couple, couple of songs to that. Washougal, this is like
like our anthem that we were moving out to the country roads. I love to drive around here and take a drive up in the hills surrounding Washougal and Camas. So beautiful up there. Almost heaven in Washougal. Actually, it's uh, of my students. That's uh, I've become a favorite kind of. Uh, I ask, I always ask my music students, you know, what kind of music they like, what uh, songs they want to learn, and of course, that's one that I show students that may not have been familiar with it yet. And then after several months of uh, learning songs, collecting songs, you get a pretty good song list going. I have students pick a few favorite songs you know to focus on and make you know make sure you have because if you learn too many songs you start to get a be a, a hack of all trades so to speak you spread yourself a little too thin so it's good to pick a few songs that you want to at least get good at memorize and all that but anyway that song uh, shows up on many favorite lists so it's a classic alright uh, let's see back to something a little jazzier.
do her own. I go sailing. It's far beyond the stars. It's near beyond the moon. I know beyond a doubt, my heart. Kiss just as before. Happy will be beyond the sea, and ever again I'll go sailing. No more sailing. Goodbye, sailing. short but sweet one. Here's another kind of kind of jazz standard that uh, I recently learned become one of my favorites probably because it's on the Latin side like I mentioned I've been listening to a lot of lately. Some of these songs have uh, two sets of lyrics to it. They, they originally were in Espanol and Spanish uh, and somebody rewrites English version. Uh, John Hendrix was of, of the singing group Hendrix, Lambert, and Ross, which is an outstanding singing trio. He uh, wrote a bunch of the not so much translations because they weren't always like, uh, couldn't always just do word for word, direct translations of lyrics and have it work out with rhymes and, and timing and stuff. So um, sometimes they would just be a totally different kind of theme in the English version. Uh, I guess I don't know who wrote the English words to this one, but I don't think the English was the first one. So the title is Kisas, 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 or perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. At least that part is a direct translation. admit you love me and so how am I ever to know you always tell me perhaps 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 a million times I've asked you
cha-cha-cha ending could stop a freight train. Even if I'm playing with a 10-piece band, I know if I, if I just do this, if I go cha-cha-cha, give them the cue, they'll be stop on a dime. So. It's that, that's the, uh, the uh, fail-safe ending, or of course the good old shave and a haircut, two bits. I know if I do this, I don't even have to say anything. I, I know if I go, the rest of the band's gonna go, stop on a dime. Shaving a haircut can stop a freight train. All right, uh, tricks of the trade there. Well, let's see. Well, let's take it, uh, mellow it down a little, a little bit. This is a song by um, Paul Simon. Simon and Garfunkel and uh, I always I associate it with uh, this time of year winter is kind of dragging on especially in the Pacific Northwest with our long gray rainy stretches without seeing the Sun much though it's been sunny lately um, we kind of want to keep, keep uh, having the faith Imagination that uh, spring is coming. getting much piano in here so I hope the piano volume is coming through okay the piano makes a little bit louder than guitar so it's, it's, it's distorts if you're not careful I'm gonna do just a little instrumental um, you recognize this one <laughs> Thank you. 
So then a the few songs in there. It started with um, La Vie and Rose. And then it found its way, uh, inspired a few Beatles songs. So, uh, well, the first one was really a John Lennon song, Imagine. And then uh, he played Something by George Harrison. And then uh, Let It Be, of course, by Paul McCartney. So we get the three of the main songwriters of the Beatles. Not to leave, sorry to leave Ringo out. Maybe we'll get him in, in the, with our time left here. Um, I'm glad to see that uh, the Beatles are getting kind of a resurgence of uh, popularity and 
with the release of uh, the film that came out, the documentary, Get Back. It's like 10 hour long documentary, which is actually a small percentage of all this vast archive of uh, a vault of footage left over from uh, a period in the Beatles when they w went into a theater and spent a, w a couple of weeks, I think, um, working on songs and, and documenting the whole process. And I actually have not seen the movie yet, but, uh, but um, many have, and it kind of uh, remembered their love for the Beatles gain new appreciation being able to see all this behind the scenes footage so looking forward to seeing it but Beatles have been always one of my favorite bands I think some of the best songwriters ever all right well uh, I've got a time for a few more songs here let's um, let's get in uh, To our uh, film soundtrack uh, numbers, uh, this I believe this first showed up in the f in a film. Another song sung by an animal. We did Bear Necessities, sung by the bear. This one was sung by a frog. So there's your clue. That narrows it down quite a bit. Covered by many greats, uh, like Willie Nelson has a great version of this, many others. So. Another, so I find the song to be sad or melancholy, but I think it's hopeful.
some song by a frog that could only be one uh, well there are, actually there are a couple of uh, singing frogs and uh, we count um, old Warner Brothers cartoons well, this was uh, Kermit the Frog um, singing Rainbow Connection right at the beginning of the first first of many Muppet movies the Muppet movie uh, quite a scene uh, because it was like uh, the opening credits were coming in and the f scene starts from the sky like a plane zooming in into the swamp where the uh, the frog is and and he's in the middle of the swamp and they were able to make it look like he was playing the banjo and singing with no puppeteer in, in sight so it's good good recommend to see that movie the, the Muppet movie all right, let's see how much time we have left. Uh, looks like maybe two more quick ones. Get back into that Latin flavor. flower bending in the breeze. Bend with me, sway with ease. When we dance, you have a way with me. Stay with me, sway with me. Other dancers may be on the floor, dear, but my eyes will see only you. Only you have that magic technique. When we sway, I go can hear the sound of violins long before it begins. Make me thrill as only you know how. Sway me smooth, sway me now. by uh, Dean Martin but not his song originally and I think that's another one that had uh, <clears throat> different language lyrics all right well uh, so, uh, thanks so much for uh, just still listening thanks uh, so much for uh, listening I hope you enjoyed the show I love to come out sometime in the future but uh, like I said I am moving to Mexico in about three weeks or less so um probably won't be back in the in the area but then i can always send you more videos if you like uh, but thanks so much for having me like to decompress at the end of a show kind of that, uh, a feel good slash sing along slash uh, love song